Well, here I am playing Kerbal Space Program. going to show off uh, one of my rockets I got that uh, I can get to the moon, although I haven't actually landed on the moon. I keep overshooting it. I've lost many a rocket in space. We'll get to that. So here's the uh, layout. This is the, the, what, the pretty much the main menu. Uh, over here we have the space plane hangar. This is where you make rockets that take off like planes off the runway. Here's the uh, vehicle assembly building. This is for rockets that take off straight up and down. They're both the same except you, all the parts default to one direction or the other. Uh, tracking station is so you can go and look at uh, all the junk you got floating around in space. I got a few things orbiting um, the planet. I got uh, a few things following an orbit here. There's this guy. This thing, this is Rocket 1C. This It comes in, it, it kind of slingshots off of the gravity of the moon here, and then it continues. It's been going around for a long time. And then I got a few ships that are circling, or cir circling around the uh, sun. So uh, these guys have been stuck out here for quite some time. Real original names, eh? Just Rocket, one, two, three. So this is it. We got six. Um, these are, I think, solid boosters or something. What is it? Solid fuel booster. Once they're lit, they can't unlight until they burn out, about 25 seconds. Uh, once those are done, they're jettisoned, and uh, these boosters take over. Um, these turbines, these are constantly running for a while until they reach uh, you know, high enough so they don't work anymore, and then I ditch them. And then um, these other boosters start up, and then these boosters start up after that, and by then we're in space. And then there's a little tiny rocket to push you the rest of the way. And then hopefully take off again and return home. I Still haven't made it to land on the moon yet because I keep overshooting it and losing them in space. So here's the rocket. We got some stabilizers here. There's a system on board that uh, you press the T button. It starts up this SAS. It's like a traction control so that it keeps the plane stable. Something, I don't know, ship auto stabilizer or something. So we start up the turbines here. I'm going to raise my throttle. Don't know if you can hear it. I've got the sound down to 1% because it's really loud when the engines are on. Now we activate the rockets. So we got uh, turbines running and these rockets at the bottom. Here's the fuel on the, on the left. These are the six rockets. Um, this, these uh, three here, these are the turbines that are on. Those will be on for quite a while. You activate each rocket through stages. You just press the space bar and it goes to the next stage. And in stage 9, um, it's said to activate this. These turbines turn on stage, I think, 11 or 12. And the boosters are stage 11. And then to detach them to stage 10. To start this to stage 9. Stage 8 will ditch the uh, turbines and so on and so forth until at the top. Stage 0 deploys the parachute. So that's very last. Let me come back. Up here we've got height um, or atmosphere, or atmosphere type. We've got thick atmosphere, standard planes, and then it gets thinner and thinner, and then you're in space. The meters counter, I think. That's, uh, it's either, I don't know, it's either how fast you're going or how high you are. I think it's how high you are. And then here's your speedometer here. You can also speed up the video by clicking the arrows over here. Um, can't go any higher because we're in the atmosphere and the engines are running. But when you're in space and you want to just let your vehicle coast to save fuel, then you can speed that up much faster. These are the Kerbins. Um, the middle guy generally loves craziness and the two guys are always like, oh my god, what's going on? 
Just something fun to watch. Alright, my turbines are not working anymore. They're still on, but because they're not red, they're not taking in any air because we're too high. So now I will ditch them. It spins around a lot. I don't care as long as it doesn't tilt. Usually works itself out anyway. Now we seem to be tilting a little bit. The traction control is kind of keeping it around the middle somewhere. And now I'm tilting a lot and spinning a lot. Let's see if I can fix that. Oh dear. Eh. Not a big deal. So if we go to the map, we can see um, this blue line here. Hmm. I've got another rocket I seem to have left in space. This blue line here, as it grows, this is um, this is the peak, and this is where I'll come back. So right now, kind of off course. There's the moon way over there. And the line has stopped growing, so I'm probably out of fuel on that engine. Yep. We'll blast off the little guy. Actually, uh, looks like I gotta go this way a bit. So I'm going to turn it ever so slightly in this direction here. And oh yeah, look at that, getting a bit more round. If I I could uh, if I go until this line is circling all the way around, then uh, I can start orbiting the planet. The trick is to get this nice and far out and then turn off your engines to save fuel. So you can see I'm half done on my fuel. I still gotta get back if I even if I do make it out. Maybe I'll just try for an orbit. Be one weird orbit. I'm going to cut my engine, and I'm just going to let it ride. Also, um, planets and things that pass by, like this moon here. If the moon was over here and it passed by while I'm passing, you know, the uh, the direction it goes, then that can also change where I'm going to end up. Like what happens to this guy periodically. He'll meet up with the moon and he'll get shot somewhere else and they'll come back later. See, like that. So this says, apparently, I don't know how to read this. So now if I want to go towards the moon,
There's the moon. There's the planet. Unfortunately, there are no waypoints. You can't you can't set a waypoint that I know of, like with a little arrow that points, you know, moon that way. So I really have no way of figuring out which way I'm supposed to be going. I think that's the planet or the moon. That's the planet. The heck is the moon around here? Ah, yeah, well, just aim for the sun, I guess. I can find the sun again. That's fine. And I'm just going to use up the remainder of my fuel. Well, maybe not. Let's see where that took me. Huh, okay. Ooh, what's going on here? It looks like... Oh, it looks like I might just graze the planet. Hmm, that's interesting. I want to see what happens there. <laughs> Here we go. No, we've been hit. I've been caught by the pole. I think. I think I'm. I think I'm going back in. Oh man, I'm. I'm gonna pass by so close. Holy cow. Is that a golf course? Hey, mountains. Oh, I haven't seen mountains yet. Everything's flat everywhere. They're all screaming like crazy, like, oh my god, no. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm dropping. Yeah, that's a shame. Looks like I'm going to be landing... Wasn't going fast enough to escape it. Ah oh well. What if I can land this thing? Oh, ground came up a little faster than I thought. Ah, well. 